Whoa, look, there's a deer. Wow, that's pretty cool. You may recognize this area. I was here last week, uh, and at the very end of this road, there is a start of a motorcycle trail that I just went down briefly and then turned around and came back. I uh, ran out of time last week and uh, kind of ran out of nerve too. This week though, I want to do the whole thing. I'm just itching to see how far I could go. So here's the start. Oh, really? I thought I'd be able to go right through this. Not happening. Okay, so far I'm doing horribly here. Just gotta get going. There we go. Well, I gotta tell you, it's a pretty optimistic goal to do this whole thing. We'll see how it goes. That's it, just slow and steady. Oh. Mm. Ah. First thing I thought is how am I gonna get back down this? Shoot. Oh man, is that a trail? No. So, do I turn around? Do I keep going? Oh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I am at a crossroads. Do I try and go all the way to the top? And then if I could see what's over the ridge, keep going or turn back? Or do I wonder how am I going to get down this thing if I go all the way to the top? Well, maybe I'll work my way up past that bush. If I don't like what I see, I'll turn around there. I've gone this far. Let's, let's just go up the hill. Stuff is really loose. Huh. Oh, <laughs> it's easy. Oh, I really want to do this. All right, let's at least get up to the top of the hill there. Okay. Oh, it's nice up here. Incredible view. Ah. I'm telling you, I just don't know what to do. Part of me is saying, hey, you made it this far. Keep going. And then the other part of me is saying, hey, if you keep going, not only are you going to have to go through other things, but you're going to you have to go through this to get back down anyway. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could do this. That's, that's no big deal. Well, I'm all the way at the top already. I've already gone up this. I might as well go to the next rise and see what happens. So, let's do it. Man, this is a lot of soft, soft stuff. 
Ah. Feels like a bike's gonna fall over. I'm just gonna take a look around the bend here. I could easily do all this. There's no problem here, but I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna turn back. For some reason, I'm just not feeling it. And I'm gonna go with my instinct here. Just tell me just to turn around. But hey, at least I made it this far. Just trying to turn around here. <laughs> All right, I could do this. Come on, get some momentum. Woo! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. This one, I think I'm just gonna have to kind of pedal down with one foot. One foot on the rear brake. I got my foot caught in this bush. Uh, come on. God, it's got me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. So I think I'm gonna go just slightly to the left of the, the middle of the rut here. And uh, that way my free foot is on the high side of the hill here. I'll tell you, the worst thing about this is, oh, there we go. This is not being able to reach the ground, but. I always forget to scoop my butt off to the side, so to have one foot down. It makes it much easier. I always sit right in the middle of the seat, which you shouldn't do when you're doing this kind of thing. Oh, what is it they say? Slow and steady wins the race? Thank God this isn't a race. <laughs> God damn, this is steep. I know this doesn't look like much, but it is. I'm just waiting for some guy, some expert, to just come flying by me. I'm kind of wondering, what the hell is that guy doing? I think from here I'm going to have to get off and walk it. I think that'll save me some energy. Okay, keep the bike up so I don't have to hold it. It's weight. <laughs> I got to tell you, I'm getting better at walking the bike down really hairy situations. Figuring out how to do that. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel a little better here. Kind of in the rut with all the rocks, but that's okay. Problem is, I just go through a section like that. Whew, am I sweating? I go through a section like that, and then when I try and get up and ride again, I just don't have the confidence with the legs under me, it's kind of weird. It takes me a minute or two to get back into riding again. I wish that weren't the case, but that is the case. Oh, I guess, oh my God. I'm sweating so much, it's dripping into my eyes. Oh, oh a butterfly came to visit me. Hello. Yeah, it's just me. Oh crap. Oh my God, seriously. I know I can do this, come on. Come on now. Oh my God, come on Colin, get up. Uh. Actually, going up that hill there, Wow, that is steep. Going up that hill, I actually popped the wheelie a couple times unintentionally. I've never done that before. Oh, God. <laughs> I tried to put my foot down and there's nothing there. Oh, 
But the way I'm going, I'm just going to walk this thing down. To hell with pride. <laughs> Don't drop the bike. Come on. Shit. What kind of a pickle have I got myself into here? There we go. I'm going to be absolutely exhausted by the time I get this thing down. I guess we can turn it off so it doesn't overheat. Uh, we're getting there. Oh my god. I really wanted to do this. But just going with my gut feeling. Ooh, look at that sand. It's just a little bank right here, but that looks soft. I gotta tell you, it's, it's kind of defeating to do this. But you just can't let it get to you. It's just not ready to do this type of, ter type of terrain yet. And I'm okay with that. All right, get moving. Wait a minute, what are you still doing here? Get off the couch, go get your gear, get your bike and go riding. There, isn't that better? <laughs> <laughs>